Alrighty, PG-13. This is G.I. Joe 1985, the bridge layer. And we're also doing the mauler. Do 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 do. All right, we have toll booth. Toll booth comes with a sludge hammer, but I didn't look in my little box of weapons. <laughs> so we looked at him briefly, and he does not come with a backpack. But you know, they should have gave him like a machine gun or something. <laughs> Anyways, his tank looks pretty awesome, so we're going to have a quick look at that. And we're doubling up on the vehicles, so some vehicles, well, some reviews will have more. But this thing did not have a tow rope. It does have a tow hitch, and it's got a cool bridge. Oh no, we're going to collapse the Joes. <laughs> And this just, you just sort of squeeze these, I think. <laughs> Are they kind of slide out? Ah. Uh, how do they come out? How does this bridge come off? <laughs> Can't lay a bridge <laughs> if it doesn't come off. Hmm. I think you're supposed to be able to squeeze these out. And of course, that's probably how it breaks. <laughs> but it's cool. We could just show you the little ramp. Then you can drive your vehicle right over it. Let's take this out of the stand and have a look here. So it's got some swivel cannons. You can decapitate your driver's head. And this shows you the engine, and the figure sits right in there, and it looks like there is some space, so he might be able to slide in there better. If we take off the weapon, and we'll take this weapon out of his hand. Try not to break his hand. Oh, this is not a good weapon to put in his hand, is it? Oh, we need to get a better weapon. Alrighty, so we'll take the weapon out of his hand here. And we'll see if, oh, look at that. Can you believe it? Gotta cram him in there. <laughs> see if we can bend his legs in. Alrighty. He can't really bend his legs too much. So put a slight bend in there. Oh well. I guess this tank is <laughs> not the greatest for cover. You got no cover so you can pick off the drivers pretty easily. But these cannons do swivel all the way around. And again, for the time, 1985. You think they would have had like a little ball and swiveled these and been a little higher up and had some armor for the guys. So the, to me this vehicle seems like it's half done. But it does look pretty cool does lay bridges <laughs> but unfortunately to get the bridge out I think most of these end up snapping so that just sits on there and that's the look of the bridge layer so not too much to it nice and green nice and army green so we're gonna have to put this back together and I'd never had one of these when I was a kid but this is still friggin' awesome. Now we'll see if we can clip it back in here. Of course you can. <laughs> and there we go. It's got some little pegs I've just clipped into here. <laughs> and there we go. We got a bridge over troubled water. And you can't really see the, the vehicle driver too well. So we'll put a little bit of light on that. And there he is, sitting in there. And again, it's got those little wheels underneath. So, obviously, it does not move. Now, my mauler is missing, I think, a few pieces, because I know that... <clears throat> oh, 
Well, I'm missing two of these little rubber things that are on the front here. And I do have the antenna somewhere, but I think there is a spare wheel part that just looks like one of these wheels. And it uh, fits on onto this. Here's the switch. Now, I don't have any batteries in here. Again, like, you know, there were so many remote control vehicles. Why didn't G.I. Joe just make it remote controlled? I mean, it would have been so much easier to do. Like, now we got to pull back just to get an idea this does come out. Look at that. This is one cool tank. Oh, it's beautiful. Even if we pull back a bit more. Like, I wish they would have made more of these. They made the, the, <clears throat> the equalizer. That is its comparison part. But again, the equalizer just uses the bottom part of the chassis or body. And well, look how beautiful this looks. Now you can fit the figures in there and they do have cover, unlike <laughs> the wrench layer. <laughs> we almost got some dominoes there. Now heavy metal, and who I don't have is little radio that goes his mouth. So he'll fit right on in there. And again, I wish they made these just a touch wider. See, he fits in there pretty snug. You know? Well, you probably have to put a bend in his leg. <laughs> oh, good thing he's got a helmet on. <laughs> Anyways, he fits in there and you can probably fit another figure in there. And let's get a nice look at this tank here. I'll just tone down the lighting a little bit. So, this is nice. It has uh, for the smoke grenades. These are usually lost. And the antennas. I have the other antenna here somewhere. It's in the room. <laughs> I know I have it. Ooh. This thing is awesome looking. These panels do come off exposing the thing. And a lot of these tabs on the equalizer are snapped off. Whereas the mauler, they don't seem to be snapped off. This is a beautiful tank, and that's why people are charging so much for one of these. So I was lucky to get it a while back, but still, it's freaking expensive. And it does have engine covers that pop off, exposing the engine, and they pop off with ease, so it's not too bad. Nice detail in there. And there's a little port for fuel. And the other one is just the same. <laughs> So you can pretend your mechanic is working on it. Got some heavy metal. And there's a dreadnought also named heavy metal, I think. <laughs> hmm. But this, you know, I wish there was a mode that you could just have a neutral mode where it would just roll. And that would have made this fantastic. Like, it takes batteries, yes. But, like, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they have a neutral mode? Uh, our mode where you could just roll it. Hey Hasbro, get on that. Remake this with a neutral mold. Now these little rubber things, the little slappers, mine are missing two in the back. So again, anyone wants to donate, feel free, don't hesitate. <laughs> hey, just like Roadblock always making rhymes. This also has a tow hitch. This is pretty cool, nice detail beautiful just a beautiful tank and it's pretty sad that gi joe didn't have more of these nice tanks for the line even made this like camouflage because this is actually looks like the desert color and you know like some people uh, for customs they they've made stuff that clicks in here and you know for mine sweeping and stuff but just this tank is oh if it had a neutral mode it would have been even more beautiful and you know why don't they make the antennas uh, like part rubber so then they don't always snap off in there they have some you know give you know would have been smarter but I don't think Hasbro will remake this you never know but again they might just make this like with the equalizer treads because the treads on the equalizer don't move and well 
We'll do a comparison when we do the Sergeant Slaughter Marauder vehicles, because I do have them all. There's a, a little weapon storage right here. And you can see there's nothing in there. <laughs> oh. It would have been nice to find something in there. Hey, okay, find his weapon. Yeah, I don't have his nice machine gun. Oh, he does have a nice machine gun. So, again, I wonder if it, oh, I wonder if it actually fit in there. <laughs> the Mahler tank is a beautiful tank. And I do recommend you get one. The switch is right here. And it's all manual. I mean, some people could probably make this and turn it into an RC. And again, love it. Now, I do have a lot more vehicles for this year. And how many vehicles are there for this year? Well, there's the two play sets. I guess the tactical battle play set and the flag right over there. But we'll have to do a review on that. And then they have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve vehicles. Like they have some smaller vehicles. They can't. They count the snake as a vehicle. I think that should be counted as an action figure, because you can use it as a robot. But so they have 13 plus the two ex series exclusives, and that was just like a, another Mobat, but that was for the uh, what was it for the Crimson Guards because it had a red, the other tank is all black. This one had a red little place where you put the figure in, and then they had a beautiful red his tank with a, a missile system. Now, the Mobat. They said man battle tank, but you know that would have been sounding a lot better if it was mobile battle tank. But anyways, this is awesome. It goes ups and ups up and down. <laughs> you can rotate the turret. This does interfere in the back here though, so maybe this should have sat a little bit higher up. All in all though, it is a beautiful tank. Laser turret. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to turn that space shuttle into a custom. <laughs> Ooh, it's just sitting there calling. <laughs> Anyways, oh, <clears throat> I guess we'll show you the underside. There it is. Lube it up, boys. <laughs> it's got some rubber treads, and hopefully mine don't break. <laughs> it is well aged. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and remember. Keep on collecting, and Cobra will definitely have, mm, how you say, more videos on the 1985, <clears throat> 1985 vehicles, because, well, it really sucks though when they start cheaping out and making too many smaller vehicles. I mean, the line, if you look at the line, they usually have a few big vehicles, and then they'll come up with a whole bunch of small vehicles, so, you know. Meh. <laughs> it's just, I'm really sad that Hasbro didn't have any Haslabs this December for O Ring Line. Maybe they're waiting till they get the Sky Striker stuff. But we'll be reviewing that. Hopefully it comes within a week or two, not three. <laughs> oh. But this is why I'd rather re review a few vehicles at a time, because these ones are awesome. Anyways. I recommend you get this for your collection if you can find one. They are 